With the onset of longer days and warmer nights, our minds are turning to the outside spaces of our homes and how to make entertaining and relaxing in them really special. Lighting is one of the easy ways to quickly upgrade an outdoor space and by the use of the Philips Hue lighting system, we're going to see exactly how effortless it is to turn this into this. Stay tuned to the end of the video for some top tips on how to use some of the Hue features to get the most out of your garden lighting. Now to transform this outdoor space, we've had some help and support from friends of the show, MJ Electrical, who you may have seen on a couple of previous videos. And it's always nice to catch up with business owner, Matt Bolton, as he was one of my first ever students, more years ago than neither of us care Aye, to not remember. not that many years. <laughs> He's doing extremely well for himself. You keeping okay, Matt? Yeah, very well, very well. Good stuff. Uh, we're gonna have a chat about your thoughts on this system a little bit later in the video. Uh, your team's done a lot of the install work already, so do you wanna go and crack on with the commissioning work and I'll have a look at the Lights we're putting in. Good Excellent. Man. And I will be testing you on Ohm's Law later. Who? We're using two different types of fitting in this video, which will nicely demonstrate a few different ways we can light up a garden. We're installing some outdoor LED strip, which we'll get to in a moment. And we've also got the Lily outdoor spotlights in both its standard and its XL sizes. And it really is a brilliant piece of minimalist design. The smaller version has a lower light output, which would be perfect for smaller spaces or a subtler effect. But in some areas of this space, we've decided to go large. An advantage of using the higher output fitting is that you can always dim it down to a lower level depending on how the space is being used at any given moment. Key features from an installation point of view include the interchangeable base. You can either have this flat base, which makes it perfect for installing to hard surfaces like large stones, paving slabs, or decking and the like, or you can just unscrew it and replace it with this spike, which is then perfect for installation into soft ground like a flower bed or a lawn. So you could mount it high up on a wall or a pergola or other garden structure, or have it down low pointing up into the foliage of a bush. It also has a removable hood on the fitting that allows you to reduce glare and direct the light with it in place, or gives you a more diffuse spread of light over a wider area if you remove it. Keeping in with the theme of being easy to install, all the connections are plug and play via these handy little T connections that allow you to tap off to a fitting while also giving you a connection to run a cable onto the next point of use. And then the connection to the power supply is just via this little control box and this simply plugs into a socket outlet and that's the installation work pretty much done. So previously in this installation, we used to have these rather ropey old fittings that were hardwired into connection boxes. And so Kev off of MJ Electrical has been around replacing these boxes with MK Master Seal socket outlets and whipping out the old rather tired lights and replacing them with the Philips Hue fittings instead. And this is one of the real benefits of this tech because it's not just simple to install with its plug and play approach. It's also really easy to adapt, adjust and extend, either moving the existing fittings around and plugging them in wherever you've got a socket outlet or just extending off one of the other fittings. We're using an uplight approach on this installation to try and highlight some of the trees and bushes in this handsomely established garden. There's a couple of approaches you can use here. Lights installed a little further out from the foliage will show off the tree or shrub as a whole. But if we bring it in close and shine it up into the underside of the crown, the light will filter up and catch the undersides of leaves and branches at different points. We can even bring it right up to the trunk to achieve a different effect where the central column of the tree becomes the highlight. And this will be particularly effective in late autumn and through winter when the leaves have fallen off the tree, leaving you with the bare branches to illuminate. And that's where that flexibility and ease of movement comes into its own as you can move the fitting to different positions really easily for different circumstances and effects. You could even, if you're feeling brave and have suitable access equipment, get the fitting up into the tree, pointing down to achieve further exciting looks. However, the real flexibility of this product comes into its own in the app. More on that in a moment. Let's take a look at the other fitting that we're using on this installation, and that is the light strip outdoor, which comes in two different lengths, one five meters and the other two meters. There's loads of other light strip variations available, but what sets these two apart is their IP67 rating, making them perfect for, as the name would suggest, outdoor use. Following the same principles as the Lily XL, it's really easy to install and requires no fiddly connections or cut points, simply connects to this little control box which plugs into a socket outlet and you're good to go. It's really flexible and can be bent to follow contours of paths or curving walls or it can simply be laid in a straight section along the edge of a decked area or under the eaves of a conservatory or a house. When hidden away out of sight, the light output from it can be used to create an effect like a seating area or a wall or similar. It's kind of floating with a pool of light under it. 
Another great way that the Hue system can be used in outdoor lighting is by enhancing the security of your home. To demonstrate inside each of these fittings, there's a Philips Hue GU10 lamp. First of all, there's the timer function to bring the lights on and off at set times. However, as I've said in previous videos, for those of us who spent our formative years in the 90s, we know that Harry and Marv are sitting in a van down the road, noting these times down. So much better to turn on the randomize function instead, and the chosen lights will come on and off at random times, which could help to enhance security. This can then be further improved with the use of sensors that will detect movement and bring any assigned lighting on when triggered. Critically, you can also have them come on at a certain temperature, as it's thought that having lighting at a cooler white is more off-putting to potential crims. Now, if you're interested in any of the fittings that we've looked at so far in this video, then the good news is you can get 10% off your order by using the discount code EFIX10 at the Philips Hue store. I'll leave a load of affiliate links in the description below, so so just click on one of those and it'll take you to the fitting that you're interested in. Now let's go and have a catch up with Matt and see what he thinks of this system. So Matt, you've had pretty much an afternoon to play around with this, which is not a lot of time. And with all these kind of plugs and connectors, it does feel a little bit like a consumer product. So yep. what advantage is there for the electrician who's installing these? So with this product, we'll start off with the sort of main side of it. Um, the light units themselves are extra low voltage. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them are 24 volts. Um, so you haven't got to worry about trailing needs and flower beds and yeah. people cutting through them with trimmers or gardening tools, uh, which is a great safety benefit. Um, and in terms of commissioning, the app itself is very intuitive. Mm. As soon as you've got them all plugged in, turn them on. Um, they come on a warm white colour as standard. Yeah. Um, and then as you're adding them, you can then flick through the colours to identify yeah. which light is which. So you can very quickly build up the scene, go around, add them all on. Um, you assign the names as you're, you're adding it in. Yeah. Um, you can create your rooms. So yeah. for instance, on this job, we've got the back garden and the driveway at the front. Yep. Um, once you've got them added on, assign names to them, drop them into your rooms. Um, and then within that, you can then organize them. I like to get them in order, as we know, I'm <laughs> a bit, OCD, uh, yeah. yeah, it's my OCD, <laughs> so we can get them in order in this particular garden. Yeah. We've managed to get it so it flows right through from the patio over there, right through the whole garden, yeah. over to, to this area. Yeah, so. it's, it's interesting that's one of the things you brought up because that's kind of one of the things that electricians they get a bit nervy about when there's an app involved you know and it's like all that connectivity but you found the app pretty intuitive to to get hooked up yeah, yeah. It's, it's clear that philips obviously spent a long time developing this app mm. um it's yeah, it works faultlessly so yeah. we've not issued uh, we've not experienced any issues with it so far yeah no. it's really good and it it all hooks up to that bridge now that's from where we're sitting it's kind of out the front of the house so is there any kind of concern with the range of the fittings because obviously we're quite a long way from the bridge but there, there will be limited there? factors yeah. i mean an installation like this where we've got quite a few devices um you know they've created a strong mesh network yeah. so we've not experienced any issues on this obviously you are going to get limiting factors to where yeah. you can put them but you can always then try and bridge that with extra fittings to to strengthen the mesh so yeah that's it because they're, they're quite about 10 meters don't they but obviously you know depending on all sorts of things that could be a little bit less yeah but like you say if if a fitting is too far away you could just you know replace a lamp sort of on the back wall of the house maybe just to boost that exactly that and as you say it forms that mesh it all links together Together, so you're not just relying on one connection no. or each connection to the to the hub or the bridge they're all uh, yeah. forming that kind of mesh connection yeah clever stuff uh, no that's a good product so one of the things that we mentioned there matt is the ease of adjustment what advantages does that bring to an electrician in terms of making a little bit more money so this is a product that you can obviously try and upsell um the ability to be able to put it in more remote remote locations around mm. the garden around the premises without having to get main circuitry back to a point within the building has yeah. its benefits um, and you know it can be treated as a as an add-on product mm. so you know that could be a, an upsell advantage uh, particularly in areas if you're trying to install led tapers we've got behind us yeah. in a traditional system you'd have to get a driver mm -hmm. in a external adaptable box yeah. you'd have to then either get a cat six back to the the house yeah. or be reliant on a wi-fi signal back to the property mm. whereas with this system when the mesh network you can mesh back to the point where you want to be. You're not governed by the Wi-Fi signal of the house. Yeah, it's a real problem solver product, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's really good. So you've really taken a lot of the fear out of the uh, app there for us, Matt, which is really good. But if someone feels they do need a little bit more support in terms of setting up and programming and commissioning, yeah. uh, is there help available online easily? There is, yeah. Philips, you have got um, a load of videos on YouTube, how-to tutorials, etc. Yeah. So yeah, there's, there's always guided help available. That's brilliant. And I'll leave some links in the description uh, to those series of videos because, again, it's short 
short content it's really helpful and it's uh, really good for getting systems up and running okay then matt we really appreciate your help with this install and the commission and everything Not uh, Matt's going to shoot off now and we're going to go and have a look at some of these lights functioning in the dark and have a look at how that app behaves and some of the interesting functions that they've got thanks again matt good to see you take care this is where the fun really begins because now we get to play with the system if you remember the old lighting looked like this a bit flat uninspiring, massively overlit in some places, blinding glare in others, and incredibly dark patches elsewhere. But now, with the Philips Hue, we can tinker, adjust, and generally make everything look awesome. Each light we've put in here can be individually adjusted for colour, giving you a choice from 16 million colours. So definitely enough to be going on with. And then you can switch over to white control and change the colour temperature from the coolest of cool right the way up to the very warmest of warm whites. Now all of this can start to get a little bit overwhelming and so if you're struggling to know where to begin with a large installation like this you can simply dive into the hue scene gallery. Here you've got a pane of default settings which adjusts the color temperature and brightness to preset values meaning that you can quickly reset everything to the same colors without having to do each light individually. So here we've got it on dimmed and then we can bring all of the fittings up to bright all together and I'm sure you'll agree that that makes for a really nice display. Moving out into the more adventurous schemes there's this great selection of palettes from various themes such as refreshing, romantic, cozy, party vibes and so on. What I really love though is the recommended section at the top. Here the name of the space, in this case Back Garden, has generated some palettes such as Orange Fields which looks a little bit like this or Painted Sky which looks like this or my personal favourite forest adventure. You can see there that a range of colours are being used across the fittings leading to a really great and effortless effect. We can even take it one step further by creating a palette from one of our own pictures. All you do is click this little plus symbol and then use photo. I'm going to use this one here that I took earlier in the making of this video. The Hue app then takes the picture and selects a palette based on the colours in that image. So it's produced some greens and blues there. We'll call this one daytime vibes and that is what it looks like when we select it. Now there is so much depth to this app and system and this is actually the third in a series of videos on Philips Hue lighting that we've made. We overhauled our studio lighting with it and Gordon took a deep dive into the setup and commissioning process along with looking at some other great features in the app including how to link it to your Spotify account to make the colours change in time to the music that you might be listening to maybe using this cool rock speaker from Lithe Audio. And so for more information please check out these videos here and thank you very much for watching.